it appears that entire government is presently a hostage with one individual. <coughs> Things are very precarious. It is learned that a three-member committee has been constituted by the present Chief Minister to govern the state. This means at one given time there will be three Chief Ministers. So instead of one Chief Minister, Goa will be ruled by three Chief Ministers. That is the arrangement made <coughs> by the chief minister who has left Goa for his treatment. So we wish him all the best in getting necessary medical aid. But he has deserted Goa and gone <coughs> keeping three members as virtually three ministers. And that is because he does not trust anybody. It is very clear. Now, when you do this sort of exercise, because how government runs is on the basis of rules of business of government of Goa. Files move as per rules of business and government of Goa, starting with director of the chief minister. Now, for this purpose, rules of government of rules of business of government of Goa has been modified, changed, amended, without which this structure cannot exist. <coughs> How the file will go into change with these three people? Anybody knows? So therefore, <coughs> this is a fraud on the administration. There is no provision in the constitution of this time. There is no provision in the rules of business. Number two, it is learned that Government business will be run by video conferencing. If government want to do video conferencing for disposal of files, who will sign those files? And again I am asking whether rules of business of government of Goa have been amended for the purpose of video conferencing. And how the results of video conferencing are to be authenticated? Are there any guidelines? Are there any rules? One can understand you can have video conferencing, there is no harm in that for the purpose of understanding a matter, understanding a view. But disposal of serious matters, files, etc. <coughs> Video conferencing is no solution. The only other way normally government business runs is by circulation. Files are sent from one minister table to other minister and by circulation. Very limited points, matters which are not very serious are sent by circulation. That can be understood the rules provide for it. What is this video conferencing business? It is the duty of the government to explain. Now it is the chief secretary who has to explain because he is the boss now in the administration. We cannot ask one of the three to explain. It is the chief secretary who has to explain. <coughs> then it is learned that files 
above up to 5 crores will be decided under this system. 50 lakhs files will be decided by ministers. Tentatively, it is learned. I mean, that has been published on a Friday. But I will learn that files up to 50 lakhs will be disposed of by the ministers themselves. And files up to 5 crores by this three musketeers. I call them. See, see what? Yes. Yes. I would not like to be <laughs> Anyway, now, the present issue of mining is a serious matter where decisions will involve above 5 crores, 10 crores, anyway, I don't know the number. Who will take decision in those matters which are serious matters and requires immediate attention? Is there any provision to decide these matters about five crores? I think BJP ministers and they are also in that. Otherwise, BJP president would not have appeared to be so ignorant of the matters going on. We express our concern for Mr. Parikar in good faith. At the BJP presence says we do not want advice from Congress how to run, run government. This is arrogancy to the core. Please understand our feelings. We suggested certain things in the circumstances we are in. But BJP local prison takes it otherwise. <coughs> what will happen with the common minimum program? Who will govern common minimum program? Because the whole edifice of the government rest on common minimum program. The only thing that has been done out of common minimum program is declaration of coconut as a state. See, apart from this, what else will be achieved under minimum, common minimum program? Common minimum program said that Goa government will govern Rivers, they will decide on the rivers. Has it happened or has it, is it happening? When it, everybody knows that rivers are managed and governed, governed by the central government. And MOU which has been entered into has no meaning. So common minimum program has been killed as it is. The common minimum program also <coughs> mentioned Din Dayal Upadhyay on scheme. You can understand BJP. They are committed to that deal. They will. But how is that Goa Forward has agreed to Din Dayal names to be incorporated <coughs> in common bank program when Din Dayal Upadhyay was against the freedom of this country? When Dil Dayal Padhyay was against democracy and secularism, <coughs> can a party for whom these things are dear to them, I believe, and I accept that democracy, secularism are dear to Goa forward. How is that Goa forward has agreed to include? this into the, in the common minimum program. Another important point of the common minimum program was 80% jobs to locals. Has any law been passed to incorporate the principle of giving 80% jobs to locals? Any scheme, any law which mandates 
the employers to give 80% jobs to locals. <coughs> I'm talking of the common minimum program. Common minimum program also speaks of giving more powers to municipalities, namely councillors, elected people, to give them. <coughs> Has any amendment been carried to municipal act for the purpose? And in these circumstances, Honorable Chief Minister has that to go on. So, in other words, common minimum program has also been killed along with other policies of the government. This Goa forward who have been signatory to the common minimum program should think our delegation of Congress party and other, the common delegation of political parties has gone to Delhi. <coughs> and what they have been told? We never expected that everything that we say, the delegation says, will be acceptable because there is a Supreme Court decision, there is a law. At the delegation members went with some hope of trying to convince the government. Perhaps they have not succeeded. But one of the ministers whom the delegation met today told them, if you say so, that means if you <coughs> support that mind should continue in these circumstances and speak in favor of minds, you will go to jail. This is all Mr. Piyush Goal told the delegation. So this was communicated to how, sir? This was I have got my, 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 my way. Yeah, I am yes, making... Did the Congress assembly tell you that? I am, I am speaking a statement before media. That is sufficient, if you believe me. This is what the minister told the delegation. Do you want to go to jail? He asked me.